So let me, uh, let me pick up where we left off from, okay? So let's say you were trying to, again, this is your in data up here, and this is what you're doing is your out data. And this, so this in data is this over here, and this you're going to use the C++ file source code to process it to output exactly like this, all right? Now, as you look at this, and they tell you, they tell you specifically what what are the uh, variables and all this stuff, data types, and all, so you have to read this very, very carefully with this, with it. So let me just put the five steps on here first, and then we go in, we'll declare the variables, and then we'll uh, relate to the five steps that we're about to do with it. So I just finish up step C on here, and if you read through this, read through this for a moment with it, and you're going to actually read in uh, some of the step with it. So I have you know, step one, one A. So you put all of your uh, variables in here, all of your functions that your library files that you have in here. Step two, declare your file stream variables and uh, input output file variables. Step three, associate the file stream variables with your I/O input output source with it. Step four, you're going to use the file stream variables uh, stream insertion extraction uh, stream insertion operator and stream extraction operator in this with with your information that you're writing into the same. All right, again, make sure you know these two symbols for the test because there are symbols with it. Again, this symbol that I'm pointing at is your stream extraction operator. This symbol is the symbol that you stream insertion operator. Remember now, you write in this from the source code coming into the stream. All right, so let's come down here. And let's, let's look at what we need to actually look at uh, with it. So the next step on step number four is, is, is very important with it. Before I move on and talk to you about something with it, in the book, it, they, they talk to you about rounding off precisions. And this is very important because you have different data types that actually takes place here. Anytime you deal with money like this, the best data type for, for now is double. That's what I would use. Is that it's an 8-bit rounding off precision with it. And you're rounding it off in the hundredth position in this thing. So a statement that will tell you normally if you output to the screen, it would be like a C out stream insertion operator that you would actually put in here with us. Well, excuse me for a moment. So the the symbol that you would actually use here is you're inserting stream insertion operator, and you're going to insert onto the the screen uh, of a position with it. Now I want to just type in fix, and I want you for you to know this because there is a test question that I would actually have. So see out fix show point, and the next line is going to be set precision two. Now. Please read up on this, but let me explain to you. The two is rounding off the precision in the hundredth position. All right, you got tenth with the th, tenth, hundredth with the th. That's your cent. This is what's going to be output, which is a subset of your show point, which is your decimal, and you're going to fix, which is a subset of the fix, which is the set that belongs to the fix operator with this and you're going to fix it in the hundredth position. Now this is what normally comes out as a C out putting it onto the screen. In this case remember what your buffer variable is going to be is your out file. You're not putting this onto the screen but you're writing it to a file, an actual file. The out data file is what you're going to write to. So what you like to do is to change this not C out because again you're going to use out file, that's your variable that you're going to be outputting to this. Now anything below this, below line 23 and below, it's going to round off to the cent hundredth position in the cent of a dollar, okay? Uh, so that's that's very important for us to actually use this right now. So after this, let's read through this, make sure you understand all this. All these you're going to be storing in like Giselle, Robinson, first name. Think about the identifier that you want to save and create this. So it's Giselle Robinson Accounting, first name, last name, accounting is department. The second one is the salary is you know, $5,600. That's monthly salary, however you want to call this thing. Uh, or, uh, you know, that's what you're trying to figure out. The gross salary, 
the 5% here, that's your bonus. The 30 is your tax rate. And the 450 is the um, distance that you're, distant travel, as it states here with it. And the f nine is the number of cups sold, coffee cups sold, and trying to figure out the total cost for those things. So that's a little formula with it. The 75 that you're looking at here is trying to show you is, no, it's not the, I'm sorry. The, yeah, the 75 is number of cups sold, is my, my mistake. And this is the cost for per cup of coffee. The 450 is the distance travel. And this is the nine is nine number of hours with this. Up. So, <coughs> excuse me. So think about the variables that you want to declare. So here, right up here, right above here, this is where you want to declare the variables. So I'm going to just call it declare variables here. All right. So all the variables that we just talked about, think about it because they tell you uh, you got to use the string data type here So uh, with it. So these are string objects the moment you put string with it. And you're gonna, I'm gonna call this thing first F for name, comma, and then I'm gonna call the last name L name. You notice how I uppercase the second letter uh, in the same. And then I also, I'm gonna give it depart. Okay, so three good names for first name, last name, and department with it. I'm gonna read this in individually with it. The second variable I'm gonna give is since I'm dealing with money, I want the right precision rounding off with this. So I'm going to do double, uh, let's call gross salary, and that's kind of long, let's do G sal, three, how's that, okay? And the second one, I'm going to just say the bonus, and the next one I'm going to call is tax rate, that's the 30. Now remember now, this is 5% and this is 30% tax rate, so you got to divide by 100, so it's actually 0 0.05 and this is 0 0.3, right? Just keep that in mind. And the next set of variables I'm going to talk to you about are doubles for the two is the distance travel. So I'm going to use something very, 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 very clean with it. So distance travel. tense and then the travel time okay and the next one I'm going to call if you look this is a cup of coffee uh, they have here so um, this is 75 cups of coffee a dollar fifty I guess I have to use an int for the cup of coffee I can't sell half a cup or one third of a cup right so it's best that I use the right data type for the thing. so I'm just going to use int uh, let's call this a num of number of coffee cups sold. How's that? And then we need to know the m money part of this is I'm going to use the price of the coffee cup. So uh, coffee cup cost. Okay. So. All of these variables, I want to make sure, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I should have 10 variables declared for to read in these containers. Okay, I should have 10 of these. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so make sure these, these are the 10 variables to match the reading in of your external file here. Okay. So that's what I want you to see is this now. Step four is what? Step four of this stuff is that you have to go in, use the file stream variables, stream extraction operator, and stream insertion operator, or the IO input output function to read in some of the stuff with it. So I'm going to come down here after, after all of this. Move this up here so we can see this a little better. So the first thing I like to do is I want to read in the first name and the last name and the, de and the department. Now, normally we would use what? CN, correct? In this case, we are using is the, um, let me pause this. I don't want to go over 10 minutes. I'll cut this into the section. All right. 